Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Crafting. And today what I'm going to be working on is this poor dilapidated box. <laughs> now, I found this box and I really liked it and I didn't want it to be junked because actually, do you know what appealed to me? These little brass hinges and I like the shape of it. I like the little bit in the middle, the cartouche where you could put an engraving. But it has obviously seen better days. This is the base for it and that can definitely come off because I have never seen anything like that. Go straight in the bin. It needs a bit of loving attention, definitely. But what I need to do is I need to really get it all nice and secure. And I'm gonna make a little tray that fits onto these bits that goes on inside. This hinged down and it didn't need to. I don't need that to hinge down. So I've taken the hinges off this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue all this together, fill these bits up. Or I can do any of that. What I'm gonna to have to do is I'm going to have to clean up all these edges because they've got tons of old glue in them. That one's got a little bit of a nail sticking out of it. And I'm going to have to clean up all these bits. Might be able to put some glue under that and then clamp it together. Glue this lid down and get on with it. Well, I'm gonna get rid of that nail that's sticking out there because if not, I can see that I'm going to end up with that in my finger. All right, let's get that out. What I'm gonna to do to get rid of some of this glue is I'm just going to scrape it all off and give it a really good clean and then a bit of a sand down. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I do lots of arts and crafts on this channel and upcycling and trying out new things. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. I've cleaned up all the underneath here. I've cleaned all the glue off it and I've also cleaned all the glue off these bits. I'm going to glue this down using some wood glue and then I'm going to clamp it so it's nice and closed. So that's why I went round and made sure I cleaned all the glue off that I could. Glue that little split together as well. I will link everything that I'm using today in the description below, including these clamps, because I have to say these clamps aren't at all expensive, but they're really good quality. And then what I'll do is I'll let that dry up for two or three hours. These are the two strips that go at the front. I want these to be a solid front, but I don't want to have a lock in it, but I don't want to have this big back in there. I'm just going to fill that hole. And these are just lolly sticks, believe it or not. A bit there like that that I cut out. I'm going to glue those in and that will fill that hole. And then I'm going to fill this hole with some filler. But obviously I need something on the back of it to stop it just pushing right the way through. So I'm just going to glue on that little bit of lolly stick there as a backing. And then what I can do is I can fill this all up as soon as that has cured up. I'm just going to clamp that down with these little clamps that I've got. I'm going to fill in the bits where the hinges were now, and I'm just going to plug those with a piece of wood. And what that is, again, <laughs> brilliantly, is just two of the jumbo lolly sticks glued together, and then I've cut them down to fit in there. Well, the wood's all cured now that's in here. It's not going anywhere. And we still have to fill this, and I'm going to show you a little tip. <laughs> tip that I picked up a long time ago. I'm just giving it a quick sand down so it's nice and smooth all the way across. And what I will use to fill it is, I've got a bag here of sawdust. And this is just sawdust that I've swept up when I've been sanding or drilling. Then I'm gonna add some wood glue and mix that up so it becomes a paste. Making sure that all the sawdust is incorporated into that wood glue. Yep, that's nice and hot, nice and covered now. I'm going to push that into that keyhole. So it's just a little bit proud. That'll stick in there, it won't come out, and then I'll sand that down flush. And then with the bits that I've got left over, is fill any gaps that are around here where I've done these filling jobs with the sticks then what that'll do is that'll fill all those gaps that just hides a multitude of sins and i'll also go around the corners of all the box once it's finally put together with this as well this is all dried now so all i've got to do is give it a good rub down and that's nice and smooth now in fact you'd never know that keyhole was there and the same for these bits as well. What that also gives is, it gives a nice clean edge for me to be able to glue this to the other bit. You can hardly see now where those pieces were put in. 
this is where those two pieces go. I'm now going to glue these together and then clamp them together and then fill any gaps. Again, using the same method that I used before. Well, the box is now all put together. I've put a new base into it. I just cut a piece of MDF and clamped it all in there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it all a really good sand down. Going through a couple of papers so it's nice and smooth. I want to cover the top and the sides in a map. Now, I found this map that I really did like, but unfortunately, when it's been printed, all the words are around the wrong way, and it doesn't come in sheets big enough without having a join. And I also found this map here that I really liked, but it was a bit insipid in color. What I've decided to do is I have cut out that particular piece because I really like that. I'm going to put that piece there in the middle. Then I'm going to cut out the cartouche underneath so that could still be engraved in. I cleaned that up a little bit. Around that I'm going to glue on some cutout bits of the really colourful map like that and put them all the way over in different places going all the way round and then round the sides as well. I'm just going to hold this down into roughly where I think it should be. And now I'm going to go around this with a very sharp blade. And this is only tissue paper, so it shouldn't take an awful lot for me to be able to cut this. I'm holding it quite tight so that it is easier to cut. And this is a very sharp blade. It's a brand new blade in this. Decoupaging, I use just a white glue that I mix down really equal parts with water. I find this works just as well and also it's really really cheap. <laughs> I'm going to pop this on and around this and I'm not bothered actually, I don't know why I'm worrying about that, I'm not bothered if it goes over the cartouche because I shall just clean it off. Put a nice layer down and because this is normally used for wood it will seal this anyway and it will go into that and it really does stick well. I'm going to gently put this over the top. With this glue, it still stays damp for a little while, so you can move things around slightly. And you've got to be gentle with it, the, the tissue paper, as you're also brushing over it, because if not, it will rip. And this will soak into the tissue paper. It will also say, soak into this wood and that will dry really, really nicely. I'm going to varnish this afterwards. So I don't need to put so many coats onto this as you would normally with decoupaging. You'd normally put three or four layers of the glue on because that helps to protect it. I am going to finish this map off here with some gold leaf at the end when all this is completely dry, just to give that whole edge a really nice feel to it. And then I'll varnish it. Well, this is completely dry now and it's gone very hard. But what I'm going to concentrate on next is putting the gold leaf circle around this map here. And as you can see here, and this is really important, and this is only one layer of the decoupage, and it's quite thin decoupage, you cannot see where that keyhole was, and also you cannot see where I've done any of the repairs in the corners. So it does work really, really well. Got some gold leaf glue, and I always think it's really important to use proper gold leaf adhesive when using gold leaf because it stays tacky and then the glue, the gold leaf will stay on it. The only downside to this is if you drip it anywhere or get it somewhere you don't want it, then what will happen is you will find you'll adhere gold leaf to that. But you can see where it's going on. And I'm going to try and follow as much as possible the line around this map here and try and get it the same width all the way around. This glue will take about 15 to 20 minutes to dry and then once it's dry I can then put the gold leaf on top of it which is really that is the easy bit. The glue is all dry now and try not to touch it because you'll take the tackiness off it and it goes clear when it's dry. All I've got here is a bit of gold leaf. I'm just going to lay that on there and then brush it with this little fine brush. It is advisable to wear cotton gloves when using gold leaf but I don't have any so it just sticks to me hands. I'll go round and I'll place the gold leaf onto the glue and then what I can do is I can brush that off and neaten those edges up 
And I am going to varnish this whole box and that will protect the gold leaf as well as protect all the decoupage and everything else. And I will just use an acrylic varnish. So the box is all finished now. It's all varnished, finished the inside. I put a clasp on it as well so the lid can't come off. I've cleaned it all up and I have to say I am very pleased with it. I think it's one of my favourite projects. I painted the inside red and black and I also made this little tray that comes in and out as well. I varnished it all, I put the decoupage around all the edges and it's all completely finished, all dried up. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for or whether I'm going to use it or I might put it on my website and sell it. I'm not 100% sure yet. I was going to polish up all the hinges and everything but actually I haven't. I've just given them a little rub over with some wire wool just to kind of give them that antique look to match the clasp that I've put on it there that finishes it all off. And I think the map in the middle and the gold leaf really does set it all off. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments what you think. I mean, considering what it looked like when I first got hold of it, I'm really pleased with it. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button and ring my bell so you get notifications when I've got other videos coming out. I'm hoping to find some more things like this. I'd like to do quite a few more like restorations and upcycle things. If you'd like to buy me coffee, then the link for that is in the description below, along with the link to everything that I've used, obviously not the box, because that was just a piece of junk when I first got it, in the description below. Take care, enjoy your crafting, bye.